There's many ways to tour the Chicago River, but few give you as good a workout or put you as close to the wetness as Water Riders Incorporated. Charlie Portis, right? Me. Hey, tell us what this is all about. We are Water Riders Adventure Agents, and we do kayak tours on the Chicago River. It's a good little workout, and it's a fun way to see the city. The most important thing is that nobody falls in the river, uh, so that's really key. We kind of start the tour here usually with a little Nelson Algren. Between the waters and the winds came the markdown derelicts with the dollar signs for eyes. Looking for any prairie portage at all that hadn't yet built a jail beside any old secondhand sea. You kind of got to dodge the other traffic on the river. We do have to be really careful. You're small fry. We're small fry, and we're also, we try to stay as much together as possible. Makes it easiest for a big boats to go around us. The Sauganash was a bar that stood where that big green building is, and was owned by a guy named Mark Bobian. This is the early 1800s. And often Mark Bobian, if someone was threatening to leave Chicago, he would give away a piece of land just to get them to stay in Chicago. And years later, they asked Bobian when Chicago boomed, they said, well, why'd you give away all that land? And his answer was, I didn't expect no town. The Merchandise Mart was built by Marshall Field, the third. Um, and Marshall, Marshall Field, the original one, gets a lot of credit for creating the modern economy because he was the first to welcome women into his department store. Charlie, pretty soon you're going to have a little competition on the river. Yes. Richard Daly's gondolas. Yeah, how about there he is? Do you see him taking your business away? Yeah. Come on. I mean, sure, he doesn't have your information, but he can sing. Yeah, I don't have a singing sing a note? either. Um, I can sing a note. This boat has a bar right on the top deck. Yeah. Is there anything, you, you, do you offer any food or drink? Well, you know what, if we look thirsty enough, we've had people actually throw us down beverages from some of these restaurants longer, but you got to look really thirsty. This is supposedly the most haunted site on the Chicago River. Um, I see it, a dead fish. Yeah. Here. If everybody can see the flag off just to the left of the House of Blues sign, that was the trial of the century. That was the O.J. Simpson trial of its day. On May 21st, 1924, a 14-year-old boy named Bobby Franks never came home from school. Bobby Franks was already dead. When they asked Nathan Leopold and Richard Loeb why they did it, they said, we did it for the thrill. If there's any sign of lightning, we immediately get off the river. Safety um, first, is that right, Charlie? Safety first, absolutely. Because frankly, I'm, I'm the tallest person in this boat. Right. That would make me a lightning rod. And Al Capone, uh, had a speakeasy up at the top of the jeweler's building, up in that cupola, which is currently where Helmut Jan, the uh, famous architect, has his conference room. Both uh, kingpins of Chicago were up there looking down over their city. In 1900, the two owners of the two rival papers hired gangs of thugs to start a newspaper circulation war. The gang warfare that went on between Hearst and McCormick, could that possibly happen between you and the gondolier people? Um, I honest. think it's starting. I, I, I'm afraid it's starting. And they have a lot longer oar than we do. Charlie, if somebody wants to join you on one of your kayaking tours, uh, what should they do? They can give us a call at 312-953-9287. Wouldn't you rather be on a kayak?